Do you have a bunch of RC cars and always wishing you had more batteries? And you also got a friend who does a whole bunch of vaping? Well, do I have the best idea for you. Welcome back to Ratchet Builds. Today, we're gonna to be taking these little e-waste vapes and trying to turn them into a 2S LiPo battery. The best way to start this adventure is hit up one of your friends or family members who you know vapes, collect all their old worn out vapes that are burnt or out of juice or so on and so forth. And the first thing we're gonna do is charge all of them. Uh, especially if they've got one of these charge ports and they're rechargeable, we wanna get all these vapes up to the same battery voltage. Now it's better if they're all the same exact vape and not different vapes. In my case, I do have two that are different, but they're all about the same size, so I'm hoping they all have about the same battery in them. Mine have already been charged up and they're ready to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is start disassembling them. When taking these apart and getting the battery out, the main key factor here, especially with a charged battery, is to make sure that we don't cut the red and black wire at the exact same time. That will short the battery out. If you short the battery out, it causes it to become unstable and also could cause a fire to your house or to your room or wherever you're doing this. Don't recommend doing this at home, once again, not unless you know what you're doing. That one's not wanting to come out, so I'm gonna grab some pliers real quick and just yank on it. Ah, there's our guts right there. I'm gonna go ahead and clip this red wire real short because we're not gonna need it, and I'm also gonna clip this black wire real short and unhook it from the container here. Oop, I cut the wrong wire. First battery down. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of them out. With all my batteries extracted, I started looking through them, and like I said in the beginning of the video, it's better to have all matching vapes or whatever you're extracting these batteries from. In my case, I do have a difference between two of my batteries. Well, that's an issue. I got this short little one, and then I've got this a little bit longer, less round one. These bigger ones still are a 3.7 volt battery, but I've only got two of them where these I have four of. And what they wound up coming out to be is 3.7 volt and 650 milliamps. Four batteries is gonna give me enough to build my 2S LiPo. If you already know about batteries and how they hook up in series and parallel, you'll be wondering why I'm using four. Well, that's because if I only hook two, two batteries together in series, which means my positive hooked to my negative, that will give me my 7.4 volts for a 2S battery, but it's only gonna keep it at 650 milliamps. So if I take four of them, hook two up in the series, the other two in series, and then hook them into parallel, where I hook it into parallel, it increases my milliamps. So that's gonna take it from the 650 to the 1,300 milliamps, because it's basically plus plus on the milliamp. So let's get into this first and let's connect my first battery together and then I'll get the other ones connected up. So with this, it kind of works out because it's got these little metal tabs here that you can actually pull up to solder to. And I've just done that to both of these. I've got, oop, wrong one. Nope, that's the right one. So I've already got my metal tab pulled up on my negative and my metal tab pulled up on my positive and I'm just gonna connect them together. So with them being metal and already having solder on them, they connect pretty easily. So I'm just gonna grab me a little bit of solder here, add just a little bit of extra to it so it's got a good strong connection. So I'm gonna go ahead and solder these batteries together. I got them just held in place with my fingers and I'm gonna heat up both those metal tabs. All I've done is take those little metal tabs and solder them together right there in the center that way I can take this battery and kind of smush it together to make my new cell. So now if I take a measure here and here, this is 7.4 volts instead of the 3.7. So let me go ahead and make another cell and then we'll start hooking these up in parallel. So, got my second battery made, or second cell. This is also 7.4 volts. Now, before I start going any further, these are a little bit floppy and I don't want to rip the contacts out of the battery. So I'm just gonna take some quick electrical tape, wrap right around the center and give it some strength. So with our batteries all strengthened up and not all floppy, I now can go ahead and start making my parallel connection. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my tabs on both of my positive ones 
so that way I can see them easily. And you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and go do the negative as well and have that side prep. So I've already made a little wire extension here. It's got my battery connection on it and I've got a short piece of length for my pigtail. And then I've got a side that I'm gonna to hook to the positive and I've just stripped the wire back in the center and added some solder to it. So that way it's a little bit easier for the connection. So I'm gonna hook one battery here, the other one here for the positive side. And then I'm gonna hook both the negatives together. So this is hooking it into parallel. I've got all my connections made. I've got my negative to negative, positive to positive and my pigtail. So let's get this wrapped up so it's protected. And then I'm gonna to try to fit it into one of these original shells just to give it some extra protection whenever I'm running it in the RC car. With a little bit of help from a Dremel, we took the casing of our wasted vapes here and turned it into this nice, beautiful 2S LiPo. Now, one thing I should have done before putting it into this case was actually test to see if it worked, but I forgot to do that. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this is my battery charger for my 2S LiPos. And I'm gonna go ahead and set it for a lithium 7.4 volt. And we're gonna hook our battery up to it. Hopefully it doesn't spark. So, no sparks. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit start. And we're gonna do the battery check. So far, the battery check passed. That means that we have no shorts in it. And I'm gonna hit it again and see what it's charging to. And we're sitting at 8.2 volts on it, which is perfectly fine. So a 7.4 battery when it's fully charged is 8.2, 8.4 volts. So that means that this battery pack is reading the correct voltage that we're looking for. And it should now be a 1,000, oh, 1,300 milliamp battery. Let's go ahead and take this outside. Let's get it into my RC car. The RC car I'm gonna be running it in is this Volcano 16. It is completely 100% stock with no modifications done to it yet. So we're gonna do two tests. We're gonna run it on the 2S LiPo that I made, and then we're also gonna run it on the original 2S that comes with it. Now this is only a 800 milliamp battery. So we're gonna see which one long, runs longer. Uh, the 800 or my 1,300 that I made. And then we'll put it at the end. We're also gonna do a little bit of speed test with it and just see if there's a speed difference between the two batteries of the homemade one versus this one. Let's get outside and let's see what it can do. For my first test I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the stock battery on the Volcano 16, see what the top speed is. And I'm also gonna go ahead and run it for a while and time on how long the battery is going to last. But let's go ahead and do this test run real quick. And I've got my GPS zeroed out there. And we've got the 800 milliamp battery in it. Go ahead and take it for its first run. We're gonna bring it back at full speed. As full trigger there. Not the straightest. We're gonna take it for one more pass. Ooh, if I can keep it on the road. Full trigger. The speed is turned all the way up. Let's see what that top speed is. So top speed was 14 miles an hour. That's on the 2S stock battery. Next up, we're gonna use the homemade 2S LiPo. So once again, I've got the GPS zeroed out here. It's in its record mode. Let's see what that top speed's gonna be. I don't know, that feels a little peppier right off the bat. That's pretty good there. We got a car coming and I got off in the leaves there. We got also dogs out here now. I ran off the road a little bit on that first run, so that's the reason I want to take a second run at this. Let's see if I can get, oh shoot, shoot. <laughs> there we go, that's full trigger on road. Yes, <laughs> that's what I wanted, full speed. 
All right, let's see what the max speed is here. So our max speed there is 15 miles an hour. That means that our batteries are pretty close to each other on the same C rating and at least the power output that they have. Now I did look up these batteries and compare them to the stock batteries that come with it. So the C rating on those stock ones are about 20 C and it looks like these are 15 to 20 C as well. It looks like my homemade battery is working out just fine. So the next thing is, is I'm gonna continue running it out here for a little while, see how long this uh, battery lasts and then we'll report on it. Just finished up the last run with the uh, Volcano 16. It did actually pretty good on both batteries. Uh, I definitely got a little bit more life out of the homemade battery than I did it on the stock. If I'm correct, that homemade battery, give or take, should be about 1,300 milliamps. Uh, the battery that is in the car right now is actually an 800 milliamp. And I've got my two times here of what they did, my 800 milliamp battery did uh nine minutes eight seconds and then my 1300 milliamp battery is 18 minutes and 28 seconds the homemade battery did provide more power for a long period of time i ran both of them through the same amount of course pretty much the same amount of time constantly on power even when they were flipped up i didn't have it full triggered but i did have about half throttle till i flipped them back over so I gave them both an equal chance at the same amount of throttle time the whole time they were running. It looks like my homemade battery is working well. Now, I'm still not gonna have that battery in my house because I don't necessarily trust it 100% uh, because it is a homemade battery out of those vapes, but it works, I like it. I may make a few more for some other cars. I may make another video trying to make a 3S battery out of the same battery setups if I have enough vapes to collect from my friends. If y'all like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave me a like, and also leave me a comment down below. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Y'all have a good one.